on some heroes, like he's got no mana, he can hoof stomp like three times and then he gets tired, I guess. Uh, not really <laughs> like sure. is why this hoof stomp uh, is magic. Not though. really sure how that works out, but it, you know, in any case. Um, <laughs> Lifting my feet costs mana. <laughs> yes, exactly. Here they go though for another bit of a fight and this is not a fight that Bleed want to take. Uh, yeah, that's why they leave Dugo to die. Oh, and the hook shot. The hook shot also catches a second support. So we have two supports dead. Wow. It's a small kill. Uh, it does give you a little bit of I really happen. think like four staff does make this significantly more difficult, but you're right, they just aren't four staff carriers. Yep. Jackie, okay. Carl, once again, he's leading the fight, and Cuckoo will try to replace him. Here comes the stomp, good BKB by the Lina. Jackie continues to hit the Ghost Shift to try to save Cuckoo from a bit of damage. And Carl takes the lead, killing off Dubu. Now going for Corden next as Jackie has to run away from this clockwork. Who only has one thing in mind, as Jackie's James head. is still extremely useful. Maseros has BKB though, so it's really frustrating. If they got a little bit of a better initiation, they could seriously threaten his life here. Oh, Maybe they nice. still will. Cancel the TP with the overgrowth. Oh my god, the damage? Okay, Raven, he's got himself that Silver Edge. I forgot about that. I yep. saw him break the clockwork last time in yep. that last little skirmish, but that cast Casual crit now, and he's doing some real damage here. Jackie's sitting nearby. I I oh my god, Cuckoo's crazy. Going for the clocker, though, is not the target. He was hoping to hit Corden instead. So Carl goes for the lead instead. Jackie activates the BKB, fights back, and with the pulverize, they can protect Jackie, making sure that Carl does die. The rest of Blockless Rivalry struggles to get in because that Blink Dagger on the Centaur was already spent in the beginning. Like, okay. no, I'm, I'm with you on the other idea, actually. I like the Bosco going in. Oh, look at me, I'm a Centaur! And then he happens to have a survives, and Carl goes in second. Or Masters can just initiate, miss the spear. BKB though, and in comes the help from Corden. A lot of interesting team fight happening right now. Finally, Carl at the end of the BKBs comes in with an avalanche, and this is going to be their initiation. Hitting both of these there we go. big, beefy heroes and reducing them to dust as they also kill off the clockwork. That's going to be three strength heroes down. The int heroes are able to survive because they're a little bit smarter. I'm not 100% sure. Either way. It, it, it just speaks to the pressure of this game as Raven also finds Corden. He just uses Onslaught, is forced to use his BKB as well. Raven doesn't quite have enough damage in the backlines while seeing Masters playing with his arena blood, but all these abilities used defensively. Oh. Now they're trying to fight back. An Onslaught going for Carl. Carl has a Moonshard, no defensive items. AU needs to help him, but he can't get the Overgrowth out because of the Pulverize. Finally, the Overgrowth, they got it out. And that might just hit Carl so he can hit a little bit, but he's stuck in those cogs. Carl's forced to pink away. He will be safe Lina, here. She's rooted. Alina, she's rooted. They need something to discover her invisibility, she finally gets rid of the Shadow Blade, and now they're gonna kill her with one last Arcane Bolt from the Skyrath Mage. Tim's found his utility this game, as they now stop the Primal Beast, Corden is dead. Blacklist rivalry, getting stronger and stronger. I cannot believe Carl lived. It feels like we scripted this game at this point. <laughs> or Winter did, actually. <laughs> He's the real director here. They're just avoiding our Mel entirely. I don't know if this strategy's gonna work, though, because the lead is still doing decently. Dispose used. KP, stuck inside the cogs and the shards, but uh, he's dead. He's just dead. And AU is not going to die so easily. The snowball might be able to catch up and finish him off, but now it's just put Jen well in an awkward position where uh, Carl should be able to collect thanks to that double damage run. And Gabby's going to die in mid lane again. The tree is getting in front of him. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not how it's supposed to go for Fnatic. Coming as well, Cup. Yeah, they get the tower, but are they going to get out with their lives intact? It's, well, actually, the arrow got blocked out there, plus the cookie. They can help things out a little bit. Now, Carl should be able to catch up and get some really nice coil action here. Oh, with just the prettiest hook shot coil you've ever seen in your life. AU may have got himself killed in that situation, but he locked down a lot of heroes. Unfortunately, no damage left on the side of Blacklist. Now, maybe there's some reinforcements coming in through with Raven, Sprout. Not quite good enough, but Carl will be able to collect in the end, and Gunwell is pretty low. Bosco actually is going to go for the Gabby kill instead. Dragon Tail first. Once again, the Treants get in front. Raven doing a great job body blocking with them, but let him slide this time. Gabby gets away to sure. fight back a little bit. That was also the idea, but he just walked in and out, right? Because he knew he wasn't strong enough. Okay, Armel, there's a Blink Dagger now. Yeah, he's going to get 100 to 0. The Kisses. Trying to get some damage in. Didn't really land too much. Maybe they'll get AU. Gabby will be able to get that one. Snowball actually oh. chasing after the puck with the immediate gust. Now, Gabby is going to die for this as he did get Dragon Tail to Arrow. KP's trying to make his way out. Arrow slips right on by. KP able to... Uh, I think that was an option. Yep, I completely agree. Okay, BKB though. BKB. Well, 
first point of inflection on KP. This could be a big deal, right? Oh, and they do have high ground. A sentry out on the ground, so they see this rotation coming. They're going to blow up the clockwork right away. But the jump in has already caught Armel, and they're going to try and keep him chained on real quickly. Armel throws whatever damage he can, but it's not going to be good enough. KP trying to lay into Raven, actually with the help of Gabby. Yeah. They will be able to kill him. Gabby, though, has been caught by AU. Bosku throws down the dragon tail. Not sure which one to go for. All right, they turn back for the draw ranger. Quickly kill him. Carl just dumping out <laughs> oodles of damage. <laughs> Couldn't snowball over his own shard, sadly. Tim's makes sure of that one. Carl will collect all four kills in that fight. He is a very happy. I think he just, did he just guess where he was going, right? Yeah. Because he's humming the creep way. Yeah, he's got pretty big AOE. Ooh, four yeah. staff ahead of the hook shot. That's my favorite aspect of Glaive. You can hit heroes out of vision, which Atos can't. That is true because it's a single target ability. Yeah, Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Gabby's dead. DJ and the two supports. Uh, yeah, they're both going to die as well. <laughs> Blacklist is just going to roll over. Blacklist them. rivalry is going to roll over them. True. Yes, yes, yes. We do own this entire area. Carl found an Invis rune. He's going to use it to make sure he gets out. Arrow is still going to land. Detection, detection. They can kill AU, but they will not be able to kill Carl. And Carl is actually going to jump in with a beautiful nice. toss. That was really nice. Bro, Carl has got BKB, so he wants to make himself a target. Look at Raven, though. Yep. He's hi hidden behind a tree, so even if they have sentry, they may not be able to see him here. There's a hook shot. There's the initiation. They blow up the Ricky nice and quick, and the puck is dead as well. Oh, the shard TA traps end up being the doom of the puck, and now KP. Oh, there we go. Dart, where's their arrow? Marana's too far away. Oh, no. Dragon. That is not what they wanted. Immediately going to be ensnared up for a second there. They're really focusing on this clockwork when I don't think they need to. I think they just wanted to take any fight with this double damage from Gabby. Arrow. Oh, oh Carl got off the BKB, and now the SF has been caught by the hook. The physical damage is going to overwhelm Gabby. Maybe he can get off the Requiem, and he does, but it doesn't do a damn thing against all these BKBs from Blacklist Rivalry. Wow. Fnatic now on their treat. Cookie trying to catch up. And well, oh, he only has a little bit more time. The dust is going to wear out eventually, but he's stuck. Bosku is going to make sure he does die. They're going to check inside the pit. Aegis and Shard. Nope, that. Unless, Fnatic, okay, they're going to be stopping the Nature's Wrath, and Carl is going to stop him by killing him flat out. They're going to have to use some buybacks, but it's going to be too late. This fight is already over. Get out if you can. Armel, oh no, the silence, the silence. It wow. catches him again. He immediately buys back, though. He wants to keep this going, but can they actually do anything for it? They've spotted the Fury on. They get the coil onto him. Once again, a Glimmer Cape trying to help out. Gabby forced down to low ground. He gets the Requiem off. They're doing everything they can to blow up Bosku. How much damage? Jesus, he was taking everything, and now Raven just had the free fight. He was like, okay, I got a double damage. I'm going to lay into the SF. Now see if they can catch the puck as well. Cookie timed. Not bad, but doesn't get it in the end. Uh, Armel. No way to escape. So, so, they just profit. He's not even considered part of the great pushing lineup because Titan is so absurd. And they can't even wait. Oh they God. have to go and fight. These buildings are He's dying silenced. far too fast. And again, this shard is ruining Puck. A hook shot, a little bit off the mark, but it doesn't matter. No. GG is called because uh, they cannot stand against Blacklist rivalry any longer. 2 1 for Blacklist and Fnatic. What's their series overall score?